once we hit our maximum recording size. So, uh, maybe do some editing. Um, or we'll just we'll do this as a part two. Um, so just continuation. Um, watch the the previous version. Uh, which is I'm just going to continue on. Um, Brandon Van Gorp, uh, what did you go to do all your equipment hailing from? Um, there's a couple of them. There's a local John Deere dealer six miles away. That's where we got all the John Deere stuff from. Uh, the coon, the mixer, and the feed wagon is uh, come from another dealer an hour or so away. Uh, and then the the hay mower. The New Holland stuff and the hay buster is from another dealer the other way, um, 20 minutes away. That town is actually kind of a neat town. They got a case, a New Holland dealer, a Case International dealer, and a John Deere dealer all right up the street. So we do with the, the New Holland dealer and the uh, Case dealer. Uh, the Case dealer is really great. It's where you can get our Skid Steer stuff and the 966 stuff from. Um, the John Deere dealer we've done some business with them, but since we have a John Deere dealer right next door, um, that's where we get most of our stuff from. Um, and if you, I'm not going to mention who they are, um, but you could probably pick up some of that stuff off of the uh, stickers on the tractors and the machinery. So I think, yeah. Cole Weiss, Weiss uh, what are you going to do about the skid loader? Uh, stay tuned. Eli Dwyer, how many horsepower is the mixer tractor? Um, if you're referring to the video, the 4430 has got 130 horsepower. I need I, got, I need 100 horsepower to run it. <clears throat> I think it's rated at 90. Um, so that's where we, 90 to 100 horsepower. The Any more horsepower doesn't make any difference. Uh, the 966 is 100, 100 horsepower. The 4430 is 100 horsepower, or 130 horsepower. Uh, the 966 runs it just as good as the 4430 does. And actually even pulling it, uh, there's no difference really in the tractors. JGM, lots of videos of you mix and feed. Could we see some of you actually feeding? Eventually, like I mentioned before, uh, videos take time um, to get them. Get them. Uh, I do a lot of my videos uh, when I'm mixing feed, which I know um, that's basically because I've got three or five, six minutes uh, while I wait for the feed to finish mixing. Uh, basically, most of the time it's already ready to go as soon as I get done mixing it, but on the cow rations, um, it doesn't hurt to let it run another five minutes. So that's usually when I do my videos. Um, yeah, we'll get to them eventually. Matt Eggers, Eggers. Um, so he loves watching my videos. Uh, I think he's kind of a new subscriber, at least a new commenter. Um, so thank you that. Thank you, Matt. Uh, Enjoy your comments when you leave them. Um, KW Feller, please make a video working in hauling cattle well, sometime. Um, he says he's getting in, might get some, uh, start making some videos. So, yeah, I would, uh, I'd like to see them. Um, Grizz Aqua X, how, many, how much PTO horse does the M have? The M is 125 engine, 100 PTO. Uh, Chris Snyder, do the tractors get pushed around by the weight of a full load of feed in the mixture? Yes, they do. Um, when they're, that's why we chain them up in the wintertime because uh, go around a corner on an icy kind of curve or snowpack, uh, that wagon will jackknife yourself. Um, and then in the dirt yards, um, when it's muddy, uh, they kind of do kind of drag the tractor around. Um, and then as they're mixing feed, uh, they kind of, rock the tractor back and forth but um it's a lot of weight 20 some odd thousand pounds plus behind you um so anyway that's uh should be all of our questions thank you very very much for all that um i enjoyed uh, answering them uh, maybe we'll do it again in uh in um i don't know a month or so uh it's middle of december now uh Leave your comments, whatever, on here, there. Um, yeah.
Uh, I wish I could do a live stream. Uh, maybe someday we will. Um, but I think this worked out really well, so uh, hope you guys all enjoy it. Uh, sincere thank you to everybody who left questions. Uh, thank you to everybody who watches my channel, everybody who subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, it's uh, so it makes it fun is the interaction between people. Um, I like to share what I do, so I hope people learn something or just uh, just have something to watch. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comments, questions, all fun YouTube stuff as always, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.